This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. I am Srinivas, Srinivas Gurreparty. As part of this video, we are going to understand so how to configure the environment for a paginated reports in a Power BI. The paginated reports are read-only reports where whenever a customer want a specific report need to have a proper header and a footer and the report need to be displayed as part of a multiple pages like each year wise separate page or each department wise separate page for each page you want to represent a specific number of records by maintaining a header and a footer are some scenarios customer want a report as a mail attachment a pdf attachment in that scenarios by default power bi service is not having the capability to send pdf file as an attachment so whenever you have a requirement to send pdf file as an attachment or a file as an attachment in that scenario we need to implement a paginated reports so to implement a paginated reports what are the different options that we have are so paginated reports can be created or can be consumed by using a four ways by using a four ways the first one is tra traditional ssrs reports you can create an ssrs report you can create an ssrs paginated report and you can deploy it as part of a power bi report server power bi report server you can create an ssrs report and you can deploy as part of a power bi report server so that report whatever you deployed that is a page needed report and if you want to configure a subscription you can configure it the second one is you can download a report builder from a power bi report service portal from this portal you have an option to download a report builder which means from on prem deployment environment or power bi report server you have an option to download a report builder that report builder with the help of that report builder you can access the data sets which are already there or hosted as part of a server and you can create a paginated reports you can create a paginated reports with the help of a, a report builder that you downloaded from a power bi report server another option is from power bi cloud environment you can download a report builder and you can install it you can download and you can install the report builder you can connect with a source so for the report builder you can connect with a source and you can create a report and you can deploy as part of a cloud version of a power bi service or you can deploy on premise report server 
So the report builder is available in both the environments, prem environment, cloud environment available. You can download it and you can connect with the data source or you can connect with the data source, which is our data source address set, which is already deployed. You can access it and you can create a report. And the fourth option is from Power BI website, you can download a report builder. You can download a report builder. Again, you can connect with a source and you can deploy it as part of a cloud or as part of a report server. So for a development environment, you have a software as SSRS, a report builder from a Microsoft Power BI website, a report builder software from a Power BI service, a report builders from a Power BI report server URL, whatever, like all are same, you can download and you can install. Deployment, you have a two options. One is on-prem and the second one is a cloud. And if it is a cloud, you need to have a premium capacity, P1 or P2 or P3. If you have a premium, you can deploy in a cloud so that you can configure the exports and PDF subscriptions and everything. So these are the softwares that are going to use to create a paginated reports. As part of the next sessions, we are going to understand how to configure the 10 environments and then after how we can create a page generated reports. Thanks much for watching. If you have any questions, make your comments as part of a comment section.